வெல்கம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் மேட் ஈஸி இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அகைன் த்ரீ மோ ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் பட் திஸ் டைம் ஃப்ரம் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் சி திஸ் கொஸ்டின் திஸ் அ கிளாஸ் லேப் லைட் இஸ் இன்சிடென்ட் அட் சிக்ஸ்டி டிகிரிஸ் த திக்னஸ் இஸ் ஷோன் அஸ் டூ மீட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் ஆஸ்ட் லெட் அஸ் சி த கொஸ்டின் Time taken by light to travel through the glass slab of thickness 2 meters, the refractive index is mu is equal to root 3 if the light is incident at an angle 60 degree is. That is the question. So, how much time it is going to take for light to travel through the glass slab? Okay, suppose, what is velocity? Velocity is distance by time. What is asked is time. Time is distance by velocity. If you directly substitute velocity, a distance is 2 and velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8 then this will be 0.66 10 power minus 8 that will give you 6.6 nanosecond which is a wrong answer because the velocity is wrong and the distance is wrong okay what is the velocity actually refractive index is defined as mu is equal to c by v the ratio of velocities therefore the correct velocity of light inside the glass is given by this formula that is 3 into 10 power 8 and the refractive index here is root 3 therefore it is root 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second this is the correct velocity suppose time is equal to if you substitute distance is 2 meters divided by the velocity is root 3 into 10 power 8 what happens 2 root 3 by 3 i multiply numerator and denominator by root 3 10 power minus 8 seconds that is 2 by 3 is 0.66 and root 3 is 1.732 and you will get in this case 11.5 nanosecond this is another wrong option wrong option so here what is wrong is the distance is wrong okay what exactly is the distance is light will not travel through this line or it will not go straight also it will go in the refracted path then it will go in this direction so we should find if this point is a this point is b we should find this distance ab and for that i should know what is the angle of refraction so first step we have to find this what is mu sin i by sin r snell's law here i bring this sin r this side mu sin r is equal to sin i what is given mu is given angle of incidence is given what is sin 60 root 3 by 2 therefore how much is sin r 1 by 2 1 by 2 is sin 30 therefore r is equal to 30 degree so the angle of refraction you have got then you draw that uh, triangle here this is what you want ab this is 30 degrees this is 2 the straight distance now take cos 30 what is cos 30 2 by d cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so d value is 4 by root 3 meter okay so this is the the distance traveled by light and this is the velocity of light now this is the formula time taken is equal to distance by velocity what is the distance 4 by root 3 what is the velocity the root 3 into 10 power 8 how much is the answer 4 by 3 10 power minus 8 this is 1.33 10 power minus 8 can be written as 13.3 nanosecond the correct answer to this problem is option b i hope you like this problem now i am going to my next problem Look at this problem question 14 Monochromatic light passes through the glass prism of refractive index root 2 Okay the refractive index is root 2 the light uh, the path of the light inside the prism that pq is parallel to bc the angle of refraction is 30 degrees what is the angle of minimum deviation this is the question okay so you know what is the angle of deviation is uh this is the normal light is incident at very small angle of incidence okay small angle of incidence and then slowly you increase the angle of incidence 
and you draw the id curve okay so angle of incidence is slowly increased so when the angle of incidence is this light will not go straight it will refract and then again here it will refract it will go this is the incident ray and this is the emergent ray and the angle between the two the angle between the two is called angle of deviation how much angle the light is deviated from its original path so when i is very very small angle of deviation will be high when i increases angle of deviation slowly decreases but it attains a minimum value and thereafter it will start increasing when you keep on increasing i angle of deviation will come to a minimum value somewhere here then after that it will start increasing and that minimum value is angle of minimum deviation when light is uh, going along this angle of minimum deviation condition the refracted ray inside the prism will be exactly parallel to bc pq is parallel to bc now the question is this is the incident ray and this is the emergent ray since this is parallel the angle of deviation is minimum and how much is that that is the question how do we find this is mu is equal to sin i by sin r can be written as sin a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2 in this condition of minimum deviation what is known to you is r that means you know a by 2 a by 2 is 30 a is equal to 60 okay this is equilateral prism then from this formula mu sin r is equal to sin i what is mu that is root 2 and what is sin r sin 30 equal to sin i sin 30 you know 1 by 2 1 by 2 root 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 means sin 45 that is sin i that means i is equal to 45 and you compare this sin i and a plus d by 2 what do you get i is equal to a plus d by 2 i is 45 a is 60 therefore we are going to find angle d cross multiply 90 minus 60 is d so the minimum deviation angle is 30 degrees okay now i go to the next problem which is question number 15 see that Electromagnetic waves travel in a medium at a speed of 4 by 3 into 10 power 8 is the velocity of light in that particular medium. The relative permittivity of the medium is 4.05. What is relative permeability? This is the question. So you know, James Clerk Maxwell in the electromagnetic theory told us C is equal to 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught. If you substitute the value of mu naught in your calculator, 4 pi into 10 power minus 7, and epsilon naught is 8.854 into 10 power minus 12, and simplify this, you will get C is equal to very close to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So that is this equation in electromagnetic theory. For information. A Michelson is a scientist who invented uh, velocity of uh, light by spending 40 years of his time to mountains and fixing parabolic reflectors and measuring the time taken he spent a lot of time lot of effort to find the value of c but this genius James Clerk Maxwell by in his theory by intuition he thought this should be equal to 1 by root of uh, mu naught epsilon naught and this is also gives you the same experimental result okay coming to this point what is velocity of light inside a medium it can be given by this formula what is c by v that is refractive index that can be written as replace c by root of mu not epsilon not replace v by root mu e what do you get under root mu is mu not mu r epsilon is epsilon not epsilon r divided by mu not epsilon not these things get cancel and this side you have mu therefore you get a formula mu is equal to root of mu r epsilon r square both sides you get mu square is equal to mu r epsilon r so this is the formula which can which which has to be used in this problem 
So here what is given? V is given. So mu is equal to C by V. C is 3 into 10 power 8. Velocity is given as 4 by 3. 3 goes to the numerator. 3 and 10 power 8 gets cancelled. You get 9 by 4. That is mu. So I got the value of mu. 9 by 4 into 9 by 4. Mu square is equal to mu r. I have to find. And epsilon r I know 4.05. I write it as 405 by 100. Okay. Now, total the digits, it's 9. So, divisible by 9. So, cancel this, 45. Divisible by 9. Cancel this, you get 5. You can cancel this, 20. Bring this 20 here, divided by 4 into 4. That is your mu r. Now, you can cancel by 4. You get 5 by 4. What is the answer? 1.25. This is a uh, dimensionless, uh, unitless quantity. Mu r is 1.25 and that answer is given in the option B. That's the correct answer. Okay, friends, I'll meet you in the next video with the three more interesting problems. Bye.